Welcome to my next English tutorial. My name is MSD Havoc from MSD Studios and I want to show you today how you can import your Half-Life models uh, to your Cinema 4D. I also showed that with um, 3ds Max but now it's time for Cinema 4D. So at first you need of course the GCF scape to unpack the MDL file you want to unpack the model file you want. So I open my GCF file and you find the GCF files in your Steam Steam Apps folder and I choose Counter-Strike and now I go into C-Strike and into Models and you found here the folder Player and I choose the GSG9 MDL so that's the file which contains the texture, the model and of course animation so drag and drop this into uh, your prepared folder. I have a prepared folder called HL Model Tutorial. So and uh, now I can close my GCF scape and I go into Milkshape. At first we have to decompile the MDL file and I'm in the right folder and choose my GSG9 all checked and OK so this decompiles us the file uh, this means this unpacks the file of all animation files of all textures and yes that's it so that's it, he decompiles the MDL file and now we can import the half-life SMD file and the decompiler creates us a lot of SMD files mostly animation and one file is uh, the model and it's it has the same name like the MDL file so here it's the GSG9 SMD so open we import the triangles the skeleton and we rename bones and okay so we see here's our model and that's the t-stand but we want a small animation so I click on anim and total frames is 30 frames and I go to the end so current frame is 30 and total frames is also 30 and now I import my animation I choose also a SMD file and I want now that he is running. So click on open and we don't want to import the triangles because it doesn't contain any and now here's the question we want. Do you want to append the animation at the end of the current animation? And yes we want that. This means the animation is in the end of 30 frames. So our current frames or our total frames goes to 67 and we see now the person is running a little bit weird because he's um, moving like he's running forward but the whole object is moving backward so we want to fix it in our Cinema 4D. So go now to the end of the animation and click on File Import Half-Life SMD and now this person has to die. So we use a small animation for this and I take here gut shot and of course no triangles but the rest. Okay and we want at the end a pending. So that's it. Our timeline is a bit li a bit a little bit longer and we see total frames 121 and we see he's running and he's dying and that's all we need and we can fix them later in Cinema 4D so now we go on export and we don't use Autodesk 3ds Max we use Alias FBX so click on it and now give him a name in GSG9 and click on save so that's all you ha have to do in Milkshape go in Cinema 4D and now we want to open the file we called gsg9fbx so here's the file and click on open and now a small dialog appeared 
the FBX importer. So he also recognizes the animation from one second to five second. Don't do anything, only click on OK. And this will loading the FBX file. So here's now our animation. We see T stand and we see the bones of the animation though. So he's he has the same animation like in Milkshape but it's not connected with the model. So at first we want um, a repair or fix the textures we see in our material. He also checked illuminance, transparency, reflection, environment, specular and specular color. We only need specular and we want add a small specular and just it's okay. We do the same with the other texture. Uncheck all, accept specular and a small spectula, this is okay. So if you don't have the textures, you can also import them over color 